Hi guys, it's Christmas Eve and in honour of the day I thought I would finally get around to doing a Christmas tag. I did put one up at the beginning of the month with Zoe and Emma. We filmed that in October, it didn't really feel like it counts, so yes. This is going to be my kind of first official Christmas tag of the year uh, and probably the last since it's Christmas Eve. Uh, the one that I'm going to do today Ahem, excuse me, is the Winter Wonderland tag, which I believe is a new one this year. I've seen a couple of people do it, um, and it seems a little bit different. They're always kind of a, a regeneration of exactly the same thing. They're just slightly different questions, questions worded in a different way, but you know, it's fun to do something new every year, and it can't always be new because there's so many, so many questions you can ask about Christmas time. So, Winter Wonderland tag, question number one. What do you like best about winter? Um, <laughs> I want to say Christmas, but you know what? Christmas this year has been a bit of a an anti-climax. I'm always so excited for Christmas time and this year I've been a bit of a like, it doesn't feel Christmassy. I feel like it was this way last year as well and it's because it wasn't cold enough, it didn't snow, it just didn't feel Christmassy. I don't mind cold weather, I love snow, um, I'd rather not walk in it but hey ho. Uh, as long as it's not windy, I just like the change in weather, I love the seasons, I wouldn't want to live somewhere where you don't get um, kind of all four seasons. Um, so I'm just going to say the cold weather and I know that's going to be a crazy one, not people, not a lot of people are going to say that but I just generally like the change in weather. Question number two, scarves or beanies? Uh, definitely scarves. This year is the first year that I even bought a beanie. Um, I thought that that was something that um, I couldn't do unless I was like 16. I felt a little bit old for beanies. My problem with them is that they ride up. So like I put them on my head and then it ends up being like end dubs if you're familiar. I don't like that look. How do you stop it from riding up? Do I, can I grip it to my head or something? I don't know. It really irritates me. And especially if I'm going to have to wear it kind of for a long period of time, then I can't really take it off because then you've got hat hair. So I need to find a way to make it stay on my head. Because um, once I've got it and it looks okay, I want it to stay exactly there and it just doesn't. So it kind of bugs me. Scarves are a bit more you know, a scarf is a scarf. It, it sits where you ask it to sit. Um, so I, I'm going to have to say scarves, but I am kind of trying to get on the beanie bandwagon this year. What's your favourite holiday movie is number three. Um, difficult one, I always say Santa Claus the movie, the original with Dudley Moore. Um, that's kind of a really Christmassy film, but The Santa Claus with Tim, Tim Allen, I also really do like that. We watched that today and I thought, I always kind of pass that off because I think, oh no, when I say Santa Claus the movie, people go, oh the one with Tim Allen, and I go, no, 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 no. And I think I've kind of got it in my mind that I really don't like that one because I'm trying to tell people I like the other one best. But Santa Claus the movie is a really good film. It's really good for kind of um, kind of affirmation of faith um, for perhaps children or adults who are on the fence about believing in Santa Claus. It's got this guy who, I, mean, I assume you've seen it, but it's got this guy who obviously doesn't entirely believe and he's questioning it at every, at every turn. He's questioning the fact that this can't happen, this is impossible, and yet it's happening to him. And I just think it's a very nice family-friendly movie. Number four, favourite winter nail polish. Previously I would have said Deborah Lippmann Razzle Dazzle. That was my all-time favourite. It's amazing. However, this year I've discovered one that I think I like more and it's from the Brocades collection, um, the Maybelline Colour Show Nail Polish and this is Knitted Gold. It has hair on it. This is gold. I've talked a lot about this. I've blogged about it this week. Everyone at the site um, or everyone that commented said how amazing it was. Lots of you have gone out and bought it because lots of bloggers and YouTubers have mentioned it, but it's the most beautiful colour. Um, and if these nail wraps don't last, I've just put them on. I don't know how well you can see because I've not got my light box out today. I didn't really want to, I wanted to tidy out my makeup room for Christmas. Um, and the light box is so huge. At some point I'll show you my new setup. Um, but it's so huge and it just gets in the way and I feel like it kind of clutters up the room and I thought I want to put everything away and then film the video so I'm kind of relying on the light bulb that I have here but if anyone's got any suggestions or recommendations of smaller lamps that you can get that work as kind of like a light box type effect please let me know I would love to change my setup because it's, it's kind of bugging me and now I have a kind of filming area where I can sit and talk to you guys I would love for it to just be ready all the time uh, but yeah these nail wraps are from Essie I forget what they're called but I've just put them on and they're very Christmassy um, <coughs> excuse me, still not got over the cough, it's been like a month now. Um, I have lipstick in my hair, mm, this video is going to pot already. But these nail wraps from Essie, I've just put them on, and if they last, then I'll have these on on Christmas Day. If they don't, I will put in uh, on this brocades the knitted gold from Maybelline. It's just beautiful, rose gold, iridescent, chunky glitter, it has everything. Number five, favourite Starbucks holiday drink. Um, 
but I'm gonna have to just tell you that I don't really like Starbucks this year. Um, I was previously a total Starbucks snob, um, and then I got into Costa. Costa was the closest coffee shop to my work, and so I drank it kind of out of necessity. And then I went to Starbucks and thought, you know what, I don't like this as much as Costa. And then I bought a Tassimo, um, which has Costa coffee pods, and I am completely converted. Um, now if there's a Starbucks, or a Costa, I will always go to the Costa, and for the Starbucks, I probably won't get one at all. I really like their refreshers in the summer, um, and Lee really likes their frappuccinos, but as coffee goes, I think Costa's better, and what I like this year is their cream, what is it called, salted caramel cream, or cream salted caramel? I don't normally like um, whipped cream on anything, I'm not, um, I don't generally like cream, you know, like if a cream comes with a dessert, I ask for it to come without. Um, I don't generally like cream at all. Um, but that, on top of this coffee, I was like, I'll take it as it comes, I will see what it's like, and it is amazing. It's a little bit rich for me, I would have a small one, I'd probably not finish it all, but as Christmas drinks go, that's the first one that I would actually order again. Although I did try a lot of the Starbucks ones with my friend Kaz, all of them in fact, and I didn't hate the eggnog, um, and the gingerbread latte was pretty good too. Number six, what are your top three winter essentials? Lip balm, number one. Number one is lip balm, the one that I love is the Rev de Mille, um, by Nukes. Oh my god, that is amazing. Everyone raves about it and I'm like, yeah, 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 whatever. I tried it in Space NK and it's this really strange texture. Um, not one you would wear during the day unless you were really, it was very, very bad weather and you wanted to protect your lips from the weather. Um, <clears throat> but it doesn't look nice, it's not glossy, it's matte and it's kind of, oh, it's just, you have to try it, it's impossible to, to describe. Um, but that is my all-time favourite lip balm. Um, maybe for during the day, <coughs> excuse me, um, I've been trying these ones from Raw Skincare, and they do a mint one that I really, really like for kind of touch-ups during the day. Um, <clears throat> I don't know what my winter skincare would be. I'm not, I don't suffer from super dry skin. Um, I like to exfoliate uh, and kind of moisturise. I really, really like the Sanctuary creamy body oil, that's been a godsend this winter. And even in summer I'll definitely be using that. It smells amazing because all the things from the sanctuary smell amazing. Um, but also it's kind of, it's got the consistency of a lotion, but then it rubs in like an oil and it absorbs like a lotion. It's just bizarre. Uh, but if you kind of like the idea of a body oil but you don't want the mess and you want it to absorb quicker uh, and you want something heavier than a lotion, it's the most amazing thing. Uh, so probably those two things, or three if you include like a nighttime. Uh, lip balm, a daytime lip balm and a lotion, but I'm not, I don't have particularly dry skin, so they're probably my my top three. Number seven, name one item on your wish list this year. That's really tricky because I don't really have a wish list. Um, because we're going away, we actually exchanged kind of, it kind of exchanged gifts. I'd already bought Lee some boots for Christmas, and when we went away a month or so ago, um, I saw these boots that I wanted and I was going to buy them, and then he said, well let me buy them for you for Christmas because I was going to get you some mug boots, so let me buy you these ones instead. So then I gave him his boots already, so we bizarrely bought each other boots for Christmas, but we already had them, because you know, you may as well have them over the winter season. So this year what we're going to do is we're exchanging stockings tomorrow. Ooh, that was actually casting a lot more light than I thought. Because I have my computer screen in here now, maybe this is working kind of like a light box. I wonder if there's some kind of, um, hmm, I wonder if there's a website that casts a certain coloured glow cogs working in my mind. Um, this year we are going to be exchanging small stockings, completely inexpensive, we had a very very small budget because we are going away, we want to save some money for spending money, um, and they're going to be kind of New York themed, so I thought on Christmas Day, I love having a holiday booked after Christmas because on Christmas Day, kind of when all the hustle and bustle has died down, everyone's opened their presents and you get a little bit Oh, it's kind of like you, the come down after Christmas. We have something really cool to look forward to. And after our holiday, I have my birthday, and then we have Valentine's Day, and then it's spring. So yeah, I really, really like having a holiday booked at the end of January. It's the perfect, perfect timing for me. Totally knocks out any of those January blues. Um, but total segues. You can tell that I haven't sat and talked to you guys in ages. It feels like an absolute age since I've filmed a proper video because I've had all those um, hair tutorials that I filmed. I was talking about a tangent and went off on another tangent. So, we are giving each other stockings um, with New York themed gifts to kind of get ourselves excited about the uh, trip. So I've kind of put some things together for him, he's put some things together for me, and that is what is on our, our under our tree right now. Number eight, favourite holiday song. Um, I always used to say Mariah Carey, All I Want For Christmas Is You. However, this year, 
Um, and even like in, in recent years, I would say I'm kind of becoming a little bit more nostalgic and it's more the songs that I remember from Christmas Day when I was a kid and just, there was obviously a certain CD that my parents had bought probably in the early 90s and uh, it had like the, the best songs of whatever era on them. Um, I think Shaken Stevens' Wonderful Christmas Time is probably the top of my list. Step Into Christmas by Elton John, um, Mistletoe and Wine, Cliff Richard, I love, there are so many. Um, Paul and Linda McCartney did what? M McCartney? McCartney did one I forget the name of. No, it's gone. But there, there are a certain amount of songs on that CD and all of those CDs are really, all of those songs uh, are really nostalgic to me um, now. So I think probably Shaken Stevens is the top of my list, but there's just certain songs that kind of like remind you of Christmas and I think that's what makes a favourite Christmas song. It's not the catchiest song, it's not your favourite actual song, it's what makes you think, oh it's really Christmassy now. Um, and I think that's that's it for me. I'm going to skip number nine because it involves Black Friday shopping, which we don't have in the UK. Uh, we did do kind of some Cyber Monday and little bits and pieces, but it's not really our tradition, so I didn't go Black Friday shopping. Number ten, must have winter lip product. I've kind of already covered this. The Nuke's Lip Balm is... An absolute must. Um, Lana Lips Lemonade is very, very nice as well. But I'm not a big fan of the very, very lemony scent and the texture is a bit funny. Um, but I do really like the Lana Lips Tinted Balms. Uh, and the one I've been wearing a lot recently is Apple. That's kind of like this red colour. But it's, it gives quite a lot of pigment. And I think that if you layer it up, you get quite a bright lip. But you can also sheer it out and it's a lot more wearable for daytime as well. Um, but it's also a balm. It's very, very thick. It's definitely, they will be in my packing um, for New York because it's, it's one of those things that if you want to look a little bit polished, you want to look like maybe you're wearing lip gloss, but you also want to treat your lips and protect them from the elements, perfect. Number 11, will you be rocking an ugly Christmas sweater this year? I think that's kind of subject to taste because what you think is an ugly sweater I might love and vice versa. I think that Christmas sweaters have become so like commonplace, everyone wears them. I think it would have to be like a light up sweater or something for it to be mm, a little bit garish. The tackier the better for me. Um, I am. Um, I just love them. I just. I don't find them to be ugly sweaters. Whereas if you're super fashionista and you're all kind of monochrome and really polished, then maybe you don't want to wear a sweater with Rudolph on the front of it. But I love them, so I don't think they're ugly. And I probably will be wearing one at some point. I've definitely already worn a couple. Um, but I don't know what I'm going to be wearing for Christmas Day yet. Number twelve. Have you ever had a white Christmas where you live? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Quite frequently, um, actually in more recent years it seems like the snow comes later, so, or kind of earlier, it's, um, it kind of bypasses Christmas altogether. Last year and this year it seems to be really mild. Christmas Eve last year I remember I was taking outfit pictures with no coat on outside and it was just like, what is happening? This is so warm! Um, so it's probably going to be the same this year, I have no idea. I know that we uh, forecast a lot of bad weather, it's very very rainy outside right now. We're supposed to get something like two weeks worth of rain in a day or something crazy. Um, which is why I'm not leaving the house for two days. Um, but yeah, we, do, we don't often get snow on Christmas Day anymore, uh, but we generally do get kind of a white winter. Number 13, favourite winter candle scent. Well, wouldn't you just know it, I have here Yankee Candles Winter Wonderland, which has definitely been my favourite this year. It's uh, obviously my most burned because this was brand new this winter season. Oh my, I, I got this and I didn't think I was going to like it at all, but apparently it's been discontinued. Hopefully I can pick it up again somewhere in like a discount shop. Um, I bought this for a really good price in the summertime, um, an outlet near me. Um, but I absolutely love it. It smells really fresh, like kind of outdoors and trees and Christmas. Um, I've been burning a lot of other scents as well. I have this one in the background, which is Happy Christmas. It's a lot more kind of citrusy and a lot more traditional Christmas. Um, and I have some kind of sweeter, vanilla-y, marshmallow -y scents as well, but this has been my favourite, and that's part of the reason that I wanted to do the tag, because I thought, oh, this is perfect, it is Winter Wonderland for the Winter Wonderland tag. Number 14, and lastly, how will you be celebrating this holiday? Um, I will be going to my parents' house for dinner, that's what we do every single year. We go for Christmas Eve, we have a Chinese, we have Christmas pyjamas, which my dad buys us, we all get changed into our Christmas pyjamas, have our Chinese, and then we go home in our Christmas pyjamas, get into bed and wait for Santa to come, uh, and then we go back for dinner the next day. Um, we don't do kind of gifts on Christmas Eve or anything like that, I know some people do. Totally fine, I have no opinion either way. Sometimes people like to give one gift on Christmas Eve. I remember my mum used to get us like New Year's Eve presents and stuff. We're a big gift giving family and as soon as I have a present I want to give someone, I need to give it them right away. So Christmas shows an amazing amount of restraint for me. Um, Lee's little stocking has been underneath the tree for like a week and a half and I'm like, 
<laughs> I've had it for like two months. Um, it's, it's, I'm getting better as I get older, but uh, yeah, I get that some people do that and I quite like that little tradition. Maybe when the kids get older I might do that. Um, <coughs> it's a freaking cough. Um, but that's just generally what we do. We stay till the evening and go home. Um, and that's what we do on Christmas Day and Christmas Eve. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this little video. I hope you're super excited. Probably by the time you see this, we will already be there, potentially. Um, and yeah, I hope you have a great Christmas and look out for a video tomorrow, which, fingers crossed, if all the stars align, will go up with myself and various other YouTubers singing you something musical <laughs> for Christmas Day. So yeah, look out for that video. Went all dark again. Look out for that video and I'll see you guys in my next video, which will probably be tomorrow. Bye!